Greetings, this is Dr. Kim Kyung Won. Today, we are also going to look at the surgical video and have an online discussion. Today's patient is 56-year-old female patient. There is no systemic disease. This is the panoramic image at the initial visit. Extraction was done one year ago. If you look at the missing area in number 6, the distal tooth is mesially tilted. In this case, orthodontic treatment may be needed to upright it. However, the patient just wanted implant placement in the missing area and treatment plan was formed. The distance with inferior alveolar nerve is sufficient and alveolar bone, there's not a lot of resorption here. It's favorable. On the CT, there's sufficient distance with inferior alveolar nerve. The distal tooth is mesially tilted, and therefore, there can be food impaction after prosthesis is delivered. We plan to use one guy template for one guy surgery. Request was made to one guy team, and SS implant was planned. Diameter 4.5 by 10 millimeter implant was planned originally. Because it's posterior area, diameter was 4.5. However, the guide hole was wide type 5.8. If you are to use regular platform, you can just place it in the wide hole. However, we plan to place a wide platform and therefore template was removed and placement was done. The plan is to use SS3 4.5 by 10 millimeter implant. One guide template is placed. Initial drill is done 3.5 by 10 millimeter. And after that, 4.5 millimeter by 10 millimeter drilling is done. A stand is removed. SS3 wide platform is used for implant placement. This was the plan before surgery. If you look at the post-op image, SS3 4.5 by 10 millimeter implant was placed. Platform is wide type. This is the post-op x-ray. On post-op CT, your implant has been placed to the planned position. As shown, the surrounding alveolar bone and the position, everything has been done as planned. In the surgical video, I'm going to use the SS type implant. And in this case, if you use regular platform, you can use it with one guide template on. However, this was a posterior case and pl wide platform was planned. One guide was used for drilling. And after that, when SS implant is placed, the template was removed and the implant was placed in the position. Let's look at the surgical clip. First, check whether the one guy template fits correctly. This has been checked. Although this is a single case, I'm going to place SS implant. Flap is going to be slightly reflected for implant placement. Flap is going to be slightly reflected and space for drilling is checked. Drilling is complete. Template is removed because I'm going to place SS implant to wide platform. SS3BA diameter 4.5 by 10 millimeter wide implant is placed. The gingival height is 1.8 millimeter. 
This is a wide platform and the preformed drill hole as shown implant is being placed implant is being placed without the template and if it goes in passively it will go into the drill hole that was formed using torque wrench the initial torque is approximately 40 newton centimeter if you look at the relation with the antagonist, the implant has been placed in the desired position. ISQ value is 84, primary stability is good, cover screw is connected, and suture is going to be done. SS implant has been placed and cover screw has been connected. In the front and back, interrupted suture is going to be done one each and I'm going to complete the surgery. Surgery is complete. In the case of lower posterior single missing case, at times, tissue level SS implant is used instead of TS implant. In these cases, when you use TS implant, there can be sinking down. If you're concerned about those issue, you can use SS tissue level implant. And because there's a stop superior to abutment, you'll be able to feel less stressed about sinking down or screw loosening and SS type. Implants have many advantages in terms of these aspects. I used SS type implant. In the case of wide one guide template hole which I used, this is 5.8. If you want to use regular platform which is 4.8, you can use it for implant placement. However, I chose wide platform and therefore template was removed and implant was placed in this video clip. When you use one guide template, you can use SS type along with TS type and also use wide platform. In those cases, after removing template, you can place the implant. And that was shown in this video. Thank you for watching.